Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. I am Mafe, and welcome to Mom's No Best. And this is where we share a weekly, weekly dose of stories and incredible experiences that can inspire and motivate everyone and in their everyday lives. So to start with this episode, as you can see, my beautiful BFF right here, my co-host Sharina, is all gorgeous and made up. <laughs> Maybe you want to show up. <laughs> hello, hello, BFF. Hi, everybody. I'm Yorna. Magandang hapon to everyone joining us here on Facebook and on Kuru. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to be here. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I am a little bit dressed up today. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You're gorgeous regardless, you know. And, you know, we're sharing here because you and I, of course, you know, we're moms, we're partners, we're siblings, we're, you know, friends of, of many and business owners too. And we do all sorts of things for our kids, our families, our friends, and most especially the communities. Um, and our support units and with everything we do we are sometimes in need of that extra support and I truly believe that's where we find our courage and seek help from others and that's why we created this platform to share um, you know that motivation inspiration weekly to those who need it most exactly that's right Malfe so to inspire our viewers we share beautiful real-life experiences from exceptional personalities to inspire people in whatever industry they are in. So for today's episode, we will be joined by an amazing woman who is a lifestyle and inner growth guide. She's a mom, a partner, a homemaker, a farmer, a homepreneur, a lifestyle consultant, wholeness mentor, a yoga teacher and a studio owner, a self-care activist, a PWD advocate, and a yoga pants wearing ice cream lover. I love it. She also believes that now is the best time to redesign a lifestyle that's self-sufficient and sustainable so you can spend more time on what truly matters to you. Amazing. And so without further ado, let's meet this incredible woman. Let's welcome our very, very special guest today, Jenny Blancaflor. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi, I'm so excited and I'm so happy to be here with you this Friday. Oh, my God. We're so happy to have you here at Mom's No Best Show, Jenny. How are you? Firstly, I'm doing great. I just actually got off from a call with um, at Martins ah, Collective yes. Yes, <laughs> and Radiant. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I've I've had it, it was inter it was really interesting. I started my day. Um, I did a bit of a stretching, and um, I started my daughter's dress for her birthday. <laughs> oh, how exciting! You're making it yourself. <laughs> Yes. Amazing. You're also, so you also do seamstress stuff. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, you're such a woman of many talents. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, are you able to share a little background about yourself? I know I've shared a little bit, but, um, you know, just talking about yeah. your hobbies and interests, because I know you've got a few that's, um, you know, everybody, a lot of people will connect with. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't know where to start, but those... <laughs> Those labels actually sum up everything. And I'm so happy that I rewrote that because <laughs> I just actually, you know why? Because <laughs> I just wrote there, lactose intolerant, yoga pants, wearing ice cream lovers. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love it. But anyway, so yeah, so that's a bit about me. Um, what's actually very interesting is that we haven't done, because we just moved, um, I think about six weeks um, mm -hmm. into our new home. So our new home, it's a container van, the sea freight vans, and we've mm -hmm. and we've built it on our own. Mm -hmm. We've had um, we've had great help, but mostly the interiors, like the walls that you see here, we built this, um, yeah, on our own. And it's really just I, I think that's the most interesting thing about me right now, um, aside from of course um, I haven't really finished unpacking and decluttering and stuff like that <laughs> um we're also building a garden because really the the goal for our family is to become more self-sufficient you know imagine zombie scenario 
<laughs> yeah, so I just um, funny to think that, but it, it's it's a really funny thing to think about that. But um, it's one way. The self sufficient lifestyle is really one way to focus on things that really matter to you. That's so true. That's so true. I mean, I, I've seen um, pictures of what you and the family have created with your own um, bare hands. Like Martha, I'm telling you. Jenny actually welds like she was actually welding it. Like she I'm learning. Her, I was like, what? She's like making all these things with metal and she's building walls. She's like, oh, I'm telling you, this lady is incredible. Well, it's really inspiring. And, you know, we want to find out what was your motivation and, you know, how did you get started on your personal journey um, as a lifestyle and inner growth guide and coach? Okay, so right now I'm actually um holding space for women who wanted to ease into a more self-sufficient home life um a lot of us have been pushed into because of the situation last year because of 2020 we were pushed to work from home do a lot of things from home run our businesses from home and some even um had to give up their jobs or to think about um, where their business direction is going because of the whole situation. Because even when um, we say there's now a cure for it, but we don't really know, right? So what's the future of our businesses? So, so um, I think that highlighted so much for us because um, we were already farming. We were already into agriculture and that somehow highlighted where we made the right decision into shifting this uh, into this lifestyle and living in a small city, living in a small town, living a simpler, um, more quieter um, kind of lifestyle. Um, I, I, I would say that um, where this really started is when I was a child, when I was a kid, um, even sue with you know seamstress things. I've learned how to sew my own clothes, make alterations because the hand-me-downs wouldn't fit me. So I had to learn. So if really you have no choice, then you really need to self-source and to bring out all your talents because resourcefulness doesn't have anything to do with how much resources you have, but it's more on what are you willing to do? What are you willing to learn? So I guess that's where I really got started into this. And I'm so excited actually to launch a program in the future um, that would help others um, also discover things that they can do and become more self-sufficient um, along with their family, involving everyone in their family. Amazing. Super. I mean, Jenny, you know, your your simplicity is so beautiful because that's what we need right now. You know, I think it's the, the greatest message uh, all through past two years is really reminding everyone. Exactly. You, you can live. You know, you can live yeah. with the simplest things in your home, simplest uh, knowledge because it's a continuous learning. You know, there's so, much, so many yes. communities willing to uh, guide and teach you like yourself you know exactly um, you're a coach you're a guide to many and we see that you do what you love to do with, with, whether in your personal and professional life so we want to know how do you apply all these things you do for others for yourself as a person and of course a woman and just being a service for others well um i guess mafe it's more about really doing it for what the family needs first and then it will overflow to others because once you know it's it's kind of um how do i say this it's kind of cliche it's really cliche to say that you can't give when your glass is not full but that's really how it works for me when you're not whole when you're not integrated everything that comes out from you is also broken um i remember um being a really tired mom because i used to work i i was i only had one corporate job and then i decided um i can't do this and so i resigned i became a freelancer so working as a freelancer i had so much opportunity so i was taking the job any offer that comes to me i take it and then um yes i have money 
but I was so unhappy because I lack social life. I sacrificed the other aspects of my life because of um, work. And even when, because I was a single mom before, because even, even when I can provide everything that my daughter needs, it seems like I am running on an empty um, tank. So that was the beginning of really looking inwards and really working in myself and making sure that um, I am operating from a place of wholeness and freedom. Because when I feel like, oh, I'm, I'm afraid to lose this opportunity. I'm afraid to miss out on this opportunity because it's money. And then I would only be doing things for money and there is an absence of joy from doing that and you know when you do things from that from lack from parang napipilitan ka lang and then nothing really comes out great whereas if you are whole whereas if your tank is full then you have so much more to give right and you, I, I perhaps you can relate to that because you're moms mm -hmm. yes. so definitely relate to that you know and uh just sharing with you, uh, you know, the insights of being a, a parent itself is already a heavy job, right? And having to even juggle your career, your social life, and things like that. Even earlier offline, you know, just speaking about yoga, like that's one of the things that I learned after being a mom that I needed in my life. So for you and everybody listening, of course, you're such an empowered woman. How do you juggle everything? Uh, I'm sure it's you know uh, a learning process daily, but it seems as though that you have exuded so much confidence on, on balancing everything and even just sacrificing certain things just to make sure your time is always. Yeah, um, I can. Well, we actually don't have to do everything all at once. We can ask for help. Um, if you think about your business and then if, if you're an entrepreneur, because when I also transitioned from being a freelancer to becoming a business woman um, in entrepreneurship, uh, I remember the early days when we were um, just starting the farm. I was doing everything. I was doing, I said, I'm going to do this because if I did this for my um, clients before, I'm going to do more for my business. And then it, it was really just... Um, it was really just tiring, exhausting, if you do it that way, if you think that everything has to be done by you, why not ask for help? I'm pretty sure that your partner, your spouse would be very happy to lend a hand. And I was actually talking, my, my partner Mao was actually telling me, can you just have a day of rest? I said, I have my recalibration week. And then they said, and yet you keep thinking about things on your because that's and then he said what i mean is you just lie down you ask me for a massage and then do nothing and then oh that would be so nice and then you know, our men our men are going to be very happy if we ask them can can you just um do this for today you know let us not be scared to ask for help when we need it mm. um there's also smart ways to do things at home if you can automate things at home um, schedule things around. I, I'm pretty sure it feels or it seems like um, a lot of things to do, a, a big task to do. But once you have that, those things laid out, it's gonna be easier, more smoother. You know, if you have kids, you can assign tasks to them. You don't have to do everything on your own. So true. True. Delegation is very powerful, guys. Yes. So, I, I definitely um, is one of those people that always ask for help. And I think that's a learning process through life, right? Because as women, we try to uh, wear the pants, we try to wear so many hats, but at the end of the day, like yeah. you said, there will be times that you will burn out and you don't want to reach exactly. that at yeah, that time. So, after uh, you know everything you've learned, apart from delegation, was there anything else that surprised you, a aha moment during your career, your personal life that you are surprised about? Oh, um, I, I think I can just simply add on to our last point. It is, you know, you can let things go, things that have to be perfect. 
because we are so obsessed about things getting per perfect. So that's why we don't launch um, our businesses. That's why we um, we become scared to go out there. And you know, I'm talking to Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> to go out there because oh my god i don't look perfect maybe maybe i should tell yoda and muffy can we just postpone it because i can't do this today i don't look perfect <laughs> but if you keep doing that um yeah it would be nice right for things to be perfect for things to go the way that we want them to but it doesn't work that way and that that's not the point the point is actually to build that resilience to think for yourself and say you know what, even things are not perfect right now, maybe I can do this. So that is something that I definitely learned to let it go. 80-20 is perfect for me. So it doesn't have to be 100% all the time, not even in my own yoga practice. Sometimes I would say, oh, I, I'm, I'm already on the third day of doing a full practice on my own, like an hour. And then the next day I, got, I get so tired because I I was ex exerting all my effort for the past three days and I'd be frustrated and I said, you know what, Jenny, you've done it for three days, that's okay. Or if you wanted to have a day off, um, rest, go ahead. There's really, no one is, no one is keeping score. No, true. Yeah. So Yara and I can agree with you with that because even yes. in our show, <laughs> and you know, as moms, like me, when I walk into my house, I know it's gonna be a mess. Yeah. Maybe I've manifested yeah. it. So when I see it, I'm just like, the couches, the toys, I'm so bad. And even during the show, I would be the one telling you, don't worry about it, just leave it, just let them have it. So <laughs> me, I'm still learning, like, just let it go. You have, yeah. you have children. Yeah. It's not going to be a yeah. perfect household, you know? So that's super great advice. You know, just let go, guys. So there are times that you just don't need to put your energy in one piece of toy that's it but if it's a million maybe just play with it <laughs> maybe it's a sign <laughs> but there was one yeah. funny moment oh jenny you should have seen this one of, one of her shows you know one of them had to keep muting and when we were done she showed me the masterpiece that her children did all over the floor i was like oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> i was i was but, mortified I was like, <laughs> they were screaming so loud. I was just like, oh my God, mute, right. mute, mute. And then you could actually hear but my dad. But kept composed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so but regardless, that's life. That's reality. Yes. And that's why we're letting yeah. everyone know here. And, and Jenny is giving great advice to everyone out there that, you know, we just got to let life be. We got to let our kids be. Yes. Especially during this time, you know, there's no more adding extra stress on our plate when your family, your children, especially are healthy, right? So yes. with that, Jenny, what would be your biggest advice to those who wanted to do the same in pursuing a business that they love? Oh, um, I think we, um, this is something that I've been realizing and um, my coaching and my mentorship is actually all about this to simplify and to surrender so to simplify is to go back to easefulness to go back to freedom to what actually makes it feel in flow for you so stop fighting nature stop making an enemy out of your body out of your natural biology so make it an, an ally, make nature your ally. So definitely what we're doing right now that we're working with nature, growing the garden, you know, um, even the construction of the house, it's observing nature. It's um, our, our land is actually a bit slanted. And then initially we were thinking, you know what, maybe we can load it with soil so it's, um, so it's even. And then we realized, no, it's actually beautiful that way because we have a natural system of um, water. Uh, oh, what do you yes. call that for, for water to flush that? And it will yeah. not create um, water pots in our in, in our property. So those things, simple simple things, go back to that. Go back to the simplicity of life. We don't really need so much. Everything is just a fluff. Everything is just going to add up to complexity. And more doesn't actually mean high quality life. Mm. You know, um, the moment that we moved into the this um, small city, 
Um, I'm in Jensen, by the way. So in a small city, the moment that we moved here, everything really, because it, it, it was a choice. There was really a sit down moment for Mao and I to think, okay, so where do you see yourself? Where are we gonna live? And stuff like that. So we really talked about that. So this is more um, provincial like for us, even if it's a small city. So that's really something um that i can advise and also to surrender like i said earlier to let go um ask yourself does it does this really matter i i have now and i have a say uh, we always tell each other you know what no one's gonna come out alive here mm. as morbid as, as that sounds right you know yeah um sometimes here's a secret i'm gonna whisper but no maybe he will not hear sometimes i'll find a sock underneath the bed why is this here but you know i really wanted to burst into i'm ready i i have this whole scenario in my head and brings up like um he also he also um left out this and like two years ago or something like that i'm so ready yeah. to bring on a full fight and then i said does this really matter Mm. When I look forward into my life, when I'm in my 80s and his what, his 95, will this really add up to that life, yeah. to the quality of our relationship? So that's something perhaps that you can think about to um, what are the things that you can let go and then surrender to what really matters to you, to the flow of life. I love that. Simplify and surrender. And I think, you know, that's such great advice because I think a lot of people seem to think that you have to keep adding on and keep adding yeah. on and it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to make things better. So it, like what you said, I love it when you, just because you have more, it doesn't mean that there's quality um, yeah. in it. And so that's what we really need to do. We really need to strip things back. What is it that we're trying to achieve and then how are we going to do it in the most simple way? And to begin with, let's be resourceful. Let's look from within to see how we can do it and then see how we're able to achieve that thing that we're wanting to achieve. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. And you know what else, Mafe, and I, I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me on this one, Mafe. I just love that Jenny just keeps it real. She just keeps yeah. it real, like, you know, and I think that's what we all need to do. Like, um, cause you know, sometimes we get caught up on things and we, yeah. you know we have okay. these things in our head but if we just keep it real with ourselves i think it mm -hmm. makes it easier i think for us to just you know keep moving on and just yeah i just i just love this conversation um i i was actually just watching you guys and i was like you know as if i was watching just the two of you just have a show <laughs> <laughs> and i was like oh i forgot i'm part of this <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the thing, right? When we all talk about that, um, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like our flow here, and I think I see Charlie, yes. the Vito, enjoying our the conversation. So thank you for supporting us. Yes, thank Hi. you. Well, you know, um, I would love to hear because you're doing many things at home at the moment and, um, you know, you're focusing on the family. So what's next for you, Jenny? Oh, I'm actually developing a course, but uh, the first, you know, it's interesting. You know about this, Yona. And then I talked to uh, my coach, Martine, about this. And then I told her, I just, in our coaching session, I just coached myself. <laughs> and then I said, yeah. And then I said, you know what? The first lesson that I have that I needed to learn, because I'm developing a, this program, um, is to not fight with nature. So nature had been telling me, you know what? To wait a while, because the soil is not ready. Ah. Uh, the soil is not ready. That's why I can't plant. So the soil is yes. not ready. I can't start with the material. So uh, the first lesson for me to learn is that nature doesn't it, it has its own timeline mm -hmm. and we can't rush it so sure. that's where surrender comes in um okay. for me really it's really just um learning these lessons over and over again because um i thought um i've learned about this before and then suddenly something happens that reminds me about this and it's really just um you know it just 
helps me come back to all these lessons, the essential lessons in life. So that's what's next for me. Um, I'm launching a course in um, a, a group coaching program in a few months when the soil is ready. <laughs> <laughs> so let's wait a while. <laughs> but I'm I'm actually um, your viewers can just simply go to my website and my one-on-one -on -one, um, page and learn more about my coaching program where I hold. Um, space for women who wanted to transition into a more easeful, into a more simplistic um, and free lifestyle. So that's where I help and that's where I um, make my contribution to our collective. Oh, I love it. So do you have, um, I know you've got something that's coming up. Do you have like a sneak peek or, or like maybe just a little, you know, teaser of what that um, program that you're creating? And, yes. and you can perhaps share with us, invite our viewers on your social media yes. page and everybody can reach out to you. Yes. Um. Right now I'm just giving a daily tour of the property. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> um, daily tour of the property, introducing our chickens. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and, and how I can no longer walk barefoot on grass because they have um, they leave out something for me every morning there. Oh. So yeah, so I I um, I give a little tour about that and the lifestyle and little um, and little things that I do and some tips there as well. And I'm putting out more content um, this coming weeks. And I'm going back actually to my blog writing um, guides um, on simplifying everything from home and your relationships, deepening connections, and everything that matters to us. Um, yes, Martin, we might get a goat. Um, yeah, but we need to build the house first. <laughs> we need to build the goat house because they really oh. need a shed. Um, otherwise, they will get sick. They don't like rain. Oh, I did not uh, know yeah. that. So, no, they don't like rain. When they, when they, um, yeah, when accidentally they'll be um, have, they'll have, they'll be sick and they'll die eventually. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I, well, I know you mentioned it to us offline, so maybe perhaps you know let everybody know um, that you will have something with regards to yoga in the near future. Yes, in July. In July, I am opening up sessions again. Um, if you're really busy, we can. Um, it's gonna be a short short classes mm -hmm. and we'll have free coaching once a week and then short classes every monday so that's twice a week class um two classes it. every week one short and then another one full class so i hope you can join and just yeah. you know you can just tune in or follow me on instagram uh yeah i'm on instagram mostly yeah. so everyday tour and then i guess perhaps september um, I can let you know already about my group coaching program, which is about Ooh. building or making your home a self-sufficient one. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to be look, keeping a lookout for your yoga program because I really loved it. Um, I really love your flow. And I think the way you do it in terms of, I think it was because you've really simplified things. And I think... Um, when you're able to hold a space for people and just let them know not to expect so much from themselves, yeah. it, it really is helpful. And, um, you know, I, I really appreciate that time that you, you give to your, um, you know, participants. And, yeah, it's going to be exciting to see your garden grow. Um, and then your animals are going to start to keep building up and you're going to have your own little farm over there or um, a zoo i'm not too sure which one whatever comes first. yes <laughs> oh yes God. well thank you so much um jenny did you have any other uh, did you have any final words for our viewers uh, for the bums out there or just everybody in general 
called Marmalade. Well, thank you so much for actually doing this and for having this platform. I really appreciate it. And to actually prepare for this guesting, I watched several of your interviews. And oh my God, Yona, your <laughs> laugh is so contagious. And I so love the vibe of your show. So I hope you keep doing this. I'm yes. going to look forward to watch more moms uh, oh. and maybe that as in the future yeah. to guest here and to talk more about how they're um living their lives and making their contributions because that's really inspiring exactly no 100 percent um you know this isn't like like we mentioned previously you know M mafe and i we created this it's not just for moms it's really for our community and I think, you know, there's no better time than now for all of us to get together, to uh, be together and lift each other up. Because really at the end of the day, that's how we find happiness. When we are there for each other, we lift each other up, support each other, lend a helping hand and, you know, um, you know be that, that support system that we all need right now. So thank you so much, Jenny, yep. for making the time for us here at Mums Know Best. And, you know, we're really looking forward to seeing all of the amazing things that you do. And I literally, you will be bearing fruit or flowers or, <laughs> or something. I know that we will be seeing <laughs> the amazing things of, you know, the seeds that you are, you are planting right now. Right, Rafa? <laughs> yes, yeah, super. And you're in good hands, of course. Martin is here yes. tuning in too. Thank you for always supporting us and um, introducing your amazing uh, mentees. So yes. Jenny, fun fact, my husband actually grew up or was um, drinking goat's milk and he's 6'6 six, six now. So you might want to what? have that as your timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick also lived in the farm with uh, his grandmother. So. Oh. Yeah, you're Aww. in such an amazing, well, uh, you're, you're really like... sharing a, a great blessing to your children. That's what, that's our dream, actually, to do that too. But wow. yes, thank you for sharing and thank you for being with us. I also manifest your yoga um, practice. Maybe, you know, we have to invite her on Kumu and do yeah. live yoga practice. I would love to do that. On that live yes. stream. Yes, so please. We'll talk about that offline because you're yes. live on Kubo right now. So watch out, guys. Um, we'll watch have out. this amazing yogi uh, inspiring us and motivating us. And making us sweat. <laughs> yes, and to breathe because I know that's one thing I learned in yoga is that you don't forget the breath. Yes. So, yes. So true. Thank you again, Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much, we'll ladies. See you soon. Thank you. See you soon. You. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love her. Isn't love see? Her. Isn't she amazing? I just, I just like she just exudes that. Um, I, I just, I think I, I, I said it previously. It's just like keeping it real, you know. And yeah. what you see is what you get. I just love it. I just love it. But yeah. <laughs> so um, you're you're in your um, relaxed state. I've got this guy tagging on me the whole time. <laughs> Did you hear him yawn like a million times? I had to keep muting myself. So this is Noah, guys. My hi, Noah. Five year old. Say hi, hi. now to everyone. So hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you waiting for mommy? All right. Just wait for me and then we'll go. He is oh my goodness. Because finally, Thank goodness they have allowed swimming for kids here in the Philippines. Oh, so nice. I'm taking advantage and he is, I think, you know, getting into that empty a little bit. So, yeah. of course, we have to keep uh, our consistency with our mom's yeah. best. And I know you're not. Enjoy for me. And happy yes. birthday to our, one of our besties, Jo. Happy 40th. Yes. She always has the first one in our batch. In exactly. Our so... Love you and have fun, guys. Miss you guys yes. so much. But everyone, thank you again for tuning in and Mums Know Best. And thank you, Kumu. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, um, mm -hmm. Higher Services, Power Bishops, and Mafia Management Team for always empowering our program. So, yes. Yana, yes. You want to announce because we are having a new time slot, right? Yes, yes. So we will be um, having a new time slot soon. Uh, so we will be moving it to a Thursday just so that 
um, you know, we'll be able to relax. Uh, both Marfe and I, we want to, um, I mean, oh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, it was, I mean, it's relaxed, but I think, you know, it's just so that we can find that, so that, the, for like, example, Noah can go swimming earlier. <laughs> oh, no, he's just like, well, oh, I want to go relax. So, you know, we're going to have a, time, a new time slot soon, so we'll be having it on a Thursday, and it will be earlier, just so that, um, you know, we'll have, we're hoping that more people will be able to join because of the that time frame too. So thank you everybody for all of those who support us. Thank you uh, always Martin for always, you know, being such an amazing support to both Martha and I. And um, yeah, thank you to our amazing team. And uh, we hope that everybody uh, on Kumu, hello, and everybody on Facebook as well. Um, we hope that you'll join us again very soon. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, Very hi. soon on. <laughs> Moms. Moms. So. Best. Best. We did yeah. it, finally. <laughs> did we? Kind of. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.